Did you make a pipeline that six months later was a lot more sluggish? Did you remember to do maintenance on your tables? If not, I'm going to show you a quick fix. Delta tables perform best by combining small files into bigger ones using the optimize command. Now, technically it reads in small files and writes out big ones, but it doesn't delete the small files we won't need or use again. Cleaning up these old files is done with a vacuum command. The problem with manually running this though is you have to put thought into how often it should run, what compute to use, was the job successful, and did you get every table? For managed tables, you could instead automate this with predictive optimization, and instead it'll run in the background. Turn it on at the workspace level. Today it's in the account console under settings and then feature enablement. From there, you can turn it on at the catalog or schema level. And that's it. That's predictive optimization enabled. But what makes it predictive? Well, it's predicting the benefit you'll get from optimizing these tables. It takes the usage, the performance, the file sizes, and the history into the account and compares that against the cost to optimize. If it's not worth it, it doesn't do it. And on top of that, it schedules it in a way to use the compute in the most efficient way. If you want to see what's been run, when and how effective it is, you can enable storage system tables to get the history. This runs in the background using Unity Catalog and Serverless, so you will need both enabled. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot in Data and AI, follow for more.